The numbers are rolling. Hello again. Yes, video number two today. Wasn't expecting that. Hey, look, the hair is better there, okay? <laughs> In the authorized version of the scriptures, uh, commonly referred to as the King James Version, please get your authorized version of the scriptures and get the scriptures. Um, if you're lost, you're not a saved person, or whatever you are, the authorized version, the King James Version, this is the perfect and errant given by inspiration word of God. Okay, this is what you want. All right. Go to Jeremiah chapter 8. Jeremiah chapter 8. I, I'm going to be addressing something real quickly that most people who are above the age of 30 at least... <laughs> are aware of and that is the peace symbol you know you see people do this right right um and they say well it means peace and you know what else that i've been noticing too a lot of these youngins uh who seem to be trying to yoke the, it, this isn't always the case but i'm seeing a lot of people doing this why is that by the right eye you know and your right eye shall be darkened you know, okay, very interesting. I want to try. I want to uh, touch this, touch on this today, because this is something that you know, and we we know the saints, but this video isn't for us, okay. Jeremiah chapter eight, verses eight on verse twelve. How do ye? Ye is one of one. It's plural. Say we are wise, and the law of the Lord is with us. Lo, certainly. In vain made he it. The pen of the scribes is in vain. Now, most people nowadays are their own gods. There is no such thing as an atheist. You are self-theist. You are your own god. All right? I don't care who you think you are. I don't care what your belief is. It's irrelevant on that fact. You are your own god. You claim to be your own god because you are your own standard. All right? So you can go off someplace. All right? The wise men are ashamed. They are dismayed and taken. Lo, they have rejected the word of the Lord. And what wisdom is in them? What wisdom is in them? Hold your place. This is another impromptu thing. But, you know, I, 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 <laughs> this, this, I'm seeing these youngins who, are, who look very girly and uh, stuff like that. Um, <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 9. The wise men are ashamed. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. And the fool says in his heart, there is no God. Okay? The wise men are ashamed. They are dismayed and taken. Lo, they have rejected the word of the Lord. And what wisdom is in them? James 3, James 3, verses 13 on to verse 16. Who is, a, who is as a wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him shew out of, his, of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. Wisdom is to fear the Lord. Okay, but there are two types of wisdoms. But if ye have bitter envying... And strife in your hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. This wisdom, what wisdom is in them? This wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. And it isn't something that tomorrow is Earth Day. Huh? Huh? Uh, huh? Huh? Uh, Alright. For where envying and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. Hmm. Every evil work. And God is not the author of confusion, but of peace. Go back to Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 10. Therefore will I give their wives unto others, 
and their fields to them that shall inherit them. For everyone from the least even unto the greatest is given to covetousness. I will, I will, I will, I will. Ye are your own gods. Ye shall be as gods. It's all about you. From the prophet even unto the priest, everyone dealeth falsely. For they have healed the, the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, Peace, peace. There is no, when there is no peace. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil. Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Nay. They were not at all ashamed. Neither could they blush. Look at this, some of the things that are... There are things that you can see on YouTube that 10 years ago would have been considered softcore pornography and your children can see this readily. Yeah. Yeah. Therefore shall they fall among them that fall. In the time of their visitation they shall be cast down, saith the Lord. Uh, Isaiah chapter 48. Isaiah chapter 48. Verses 18 on verse 22. Oh, that thou hadst hearkened to my commandments. Then had thy peace been as a river, and thy righteousness as the waves of the sea. Thy seed also had been as the sand, and the offspring of thy bowels like the gravel thereof. His name should not have been cut off nor destroyed from before me. But what happened? He shall be as gods. Satan gives you a counterfeit. And that's what happened. That's what's happening. Okay? The peace of God that passeth all understanding. Because we saints, we when we are absent from the body, dead, we're going to be present with the Lord. Alright? You lost people, this is your best life now. So of course you're going to revel in your vomit. But see, Satan gives you, offers you a false peace. There is no peace. There is no peace to the wicked. There's like a staving off of invasion. But the inevitable end is death. Go ye forth of Babylon, flee ye from the Chaldeans. With the voice of singing declare ye. Tell this, utter it even to the end of the earth. Say ye, the Lord hath redeemed his servant Jacob. And they thirsted not when he led them through the deserts. He caused the waters to flow out of the rock for them. He clave the rock also, and the waters gushed out. There is no peace, saith the Lord unto the wicked. See, a lot of you wicked people have been given over to that wickedness because that's what you want. And God's like, okay, fine, go ahead. Go ahead! Go, 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 knock yourself out, roll up another one, buddy, okay, all right, and uh, First Thessalonians, First Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 1 on to verse 3, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. There is no peace to the wicked. A lot of you lost people, you're, you're um, um, reveling in your abominations, you can't even blush, okay? <laughs> you know, someone that doesn't want truth, what do you tell them? Enjoy your life, buddy. Like, roll yourself up another one. Hit that thing till it hurts. Okay, go ahead and grovel in the uh, 
fast food nation of America, if you're an American. But go ahead and just live it up, buddy. Live it up because this is your best life now. What awaits you? Rejecting the Lord Jesus Christ? Wanting to be your own God? What awaits you? What awaits you? Okay? Your belief on this is irrelevant. And, you know, I remember uh, Mr. Murphy and a couple people, a couple people, it's like, the best you can do is say, you wait and see. Think about that. Think, stop. Think about that. Think about that statement. The best you could do is tell. They always say, well, you'll, you'll see. And they go and scoff like idiots that they are, you know, self-theists. But it's, it's like, think, think of the stupidity of that statement. By the time y'all figure it out that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, that Jesus Christ is God the Father, that this, the authorized version, is his perfect and errant, given by inspiration word of God, that there's only one Jesus, okay, who truly saves, okay, all right? By the time you guys figure this stuff out, it's going to be too late. You yell with this stupid, <laughs> okay, peace thing that you do. I, I've, I've seen, I, I'm, I'm checking stuff out on YouTube, and I'm seeing this, all, especially in these youngins, the youngins, millennial t uh, types. Okay, I've been, I've been watching these Shemites, uh, Japanese, um, who do this uh, Wotoji dance thing. Okay, and video on dancing will be coming eventually. But uh, I've been watching these guys, and these guys are very feminine in their look. You know, well, that's the style. But I, I see a lot of these people, why is it, uh, you know, it's not relegated to Shem, but I see a lot of these people doing this. The right eye thing, okay? Sometimes it's this, but I see a lot of that. I'm seeing a lot of, why? You're dressed. But, but, but here's what awaits you people who say, peace, peace. There is no peace. You guys uh, heal people slightly because you make them feel comfortable in sin. Woe to you. Woe to you that call evil good and good evil. That put light for dark and dark for light. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Do I know what I'm quoting? Saints know what I'm quoting. You don't. You don't. Of course. Of course not. Why? You don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. You know what? I don't care you don't want to hear it. <laughs> I really don't. In mano y mano, yeah, that, that's a different thing. But this, uh, Isaiah 5, 20 on verse 23. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine and men of strength to mingle strong drink. Like the cup of wine that the mystery Babylon the great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth offers you. Who is that? That's Rome. That's Rome. Which we're going to be addressing here in this video. Okay? You know, Rome attacks, I, I like to attack them back. Okay, oh, tomorrow. <laughs> Earth Day. Earth Day. Give me a break. Which justify the wicked for reward. And what reward is that? Think about that. Everybody cheering you on in your wickedness. How rewarding is it you can go outside your door, right? You lost people and live as evil as you want to do and no one's going to say anything except a saint who you would like to bulldoze, right? Okay? Which justify the wicked for reward and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. What awaits you guys saying peace, peace? Mark 9. Verses 43 on to verse 48. 
And if thy hand offend thee, cut it off. Now, Jesus is not talking about a literal lopping off of limbs. Okay, he is not. He is not. All right? What, what's your hand causing you to do? You, you know, you're online here watching this stuff and pressing in the keyboards, flipping with your fingers. Okay? And if thy hand offend thee, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter into life maimed than having two hands to go into hellfire, into the fire that never shall be quenched. Where their worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. I believe that worm right there is a reference onto the soul. Does that mean that the soul is actually shaped? I don't know. But I believe that's what that's a reference onto. Okay? And if thy foot offend thee, cut it off. Where are you going? Where are you going? Look at them idiots over there at the Methodist church building. Where are you going? <laughs> yeah. In, in, uh, in directions inside. They're saying go to church. Where does that come from? Rome! Where are you going? What do your hands touch? Where are your feet taking? Somebody just sent me an email or a text message. <laughs> hmm. And if thy foot offend thee, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter halt into life than to have than having two feet to be cast into hell, into the fire that never shall be quenched, where the worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. Twice that's mentioned. I see it three times mentioned. See, you go to hell you're going to burn forever. And some of you think you're cute. You've seen a few videos. It's like, well, Brad, hell gets cast into the lake of fire. Right. You're right. Hell gets cast into the lake of fire, genius. You're still going to burn forever. Bravo. And if thine eye offend thee, pluck it out. What, what are you looking at? What, what wicked things are you putting before your eyes? And if thine eye offend thee, pluck it out. It is better for thee to enter into the kingdom of God, spiritual, with one eye than having two eyes to be cast into hellfire. Third mention. Where their worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. But see, these people say, peace, peace. Justify sin, justify the wicked for reward. Yeah, uh, 2 Peter 18, 2 Peter chapter 2, verses 18 and 19. For while they greet, while they speak great swelling words of vanity, vanity of vanity, saith the preacher, all is vanity. They allure through the lusts of the sin suit, lusts of the flesh, through much wantonness. Those that were clean escape from them who live in error, while they promised them liberty. They themselves are the servants of corruption, for whom a man is overcome, of the same he is brought into bondage. And immediately you go to Romans 6, verse 16. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness? Now I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Got OBS <laughs> What I'm talking about, okay? Check this out. Check this out. All right. Well, wait, wait, stop that, stop that. I want to interact with it. What are you doing? Okay. Sorry about that. Interact. Okay. See, see this dude right here? Okay, see this? See that? This. What? The? Okay. Now, that's on the right side. And uh, the that right there, let me show you this. That is in Zechariah. What is that, brother? That's Zechariah 11. Zechariah 11. Let me tell you this, all right? 
yes, Zechariah 11, verses 15 on verse 17. And the Lord said unto me, Take unto thee yet the instruments of a foolish shepherd. The fool says in his heart, There is no God. When you act foolishly, you are behaving as if you say in your heart, There is no God. Okay? For lo, I will raise up a shepherd in the land, which shall not visit those that are cut off, neither shall seek the young one, nor heal that that is broken, nor feed that that standeth still, but he shall eat the flesh of the fat, and tear their claws in pieces. Woe to the idol! I-D-O-L. Not idol as a, um, I believe that's spelled with an E, but idol shepherd! Idol! Idol shepherd. Someone they idolize, not idolize going nowhere. I believe that's spelled with an E. Someone can correct me on that in the description box or in the comment section. Okay? Woe to the idol shepherd that leaveth the flock. Yeah, because a hireling doesn't care for the flock. They're a hireling. So they see the wolf cometh, and what do they do? They tuck tail and run. Okay? <laughs> the sword shall be upon his arm and upon his right eye. His arm shall be clean dried up, and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. How many thing times have you seen in Hollywood? Like the Star Wars thing, where the guy got the thing like that, and the right eye is darkened. Uh, President Trump, when he had the Make America Great thing, his right eye was covered with a shade. Okay, the right eye was darkened. Okay. Now, I mean, see, you see that, like right here? Uh, you see this kid right there? That's the left eye thing, but that that's and this this right here this right here see this that's daryl hall uh daryl hall he's doing this you know what that is let me show you what that is okay jesus two fingers oh look at that look at that uh, let's, uh, here's the roman catholic jesus Oh, look at that. Two fingers. Oh, look, look at that <laughs> with the sacred heart. This, this is not the Jesus of Scripture, people. Okay? This is not. This is the uh, <clears throat> this is the Roman Catholic Jesus. Baptist Jesus. The Pentecostals. Well, not the Pentecostals. Look, look at this, okay? But you see this. You see this. Now, in the description box, if you don't want to watch this, the things in the description box, that's your problem. Not mine. We talk about the two key things. But see, when you see this, okay, you see that, right? You see that? What does that mean? That one's not really that. But see, you see the, you see the two. What does that mean? What does that mean? Okay. What does that mean? Oh, let me show you. Get, get, get out of there. Get out of there. Okay? What did what, what, what I do here? There we go. Papal logo. There it is. <laughs> Francisco Papa. <laughs> Pope Francis. That's what that means. Now, you see that? Those are the two keys of the Vatican. The two swords. Spiritual and temporal. Now they will tell you that those are the keys that were given on to their Pope Peter. Peter was never a Pope. We got the video loosed on earth and Peter the first Pope in the description box for you. If you don't want to watch them, fine. That's your fault. Okay, you don't want to know, shut up. But, see that? The two keys, spiritual and temporal. That means, and in the center there, you see, you see that in the center there? That's the IHS. That's the symbol of the Jesuit order. Now the Jesuits will tell you that means Jesus, uh, Jesus Hamadan Salvatore, Hamadan, I believe it is pronounced. They're set, what that means is Jesus Savior of Man. That's what they tell you IHS means. That's not what IHS means. It means Isis Horus Set, the Egyptian Trinity. Because remember. Rome is the perfection of the Babylonian religion. Okay? And, and the crown there, 
the builder of walls and temples which they attribute unto the Queen of Heaven, the Roman Catholic Mary, otherwise known as Semiramis, not, not scripturally not known as Semiramis, that is true, Queen of Heaven. The Queen of Heaven, which is talked about in Jeremiah 44. Okay? So spiritual, temporal. That means to the Catholic that the Pope, the true Pope, by the way, is Arturo Sosa. Francis is the puppet Pope. He's the white Pope. He's a Jesuit. And according to Jesuit doctrine, the Jesuit is subservient unto his provincial. Arturo Sosa is the head of the Jesuit order. Pope Francis <laughs> he is subservient unto Sosa. But the two keys means to the Catholic that the Pope has the power to rule you on earth and the power to put you into hell. And you stupid Catholics believe that. And the thing about the crown, about, you know, you see these things about some of the Roman Catholic Mary pictures about having the, the crown on her head and stuff, and, you know. But IHS, symbol of the Jesuits, the spiritual and temporal sword, that's what that means. And the thing with the crown, and you see the, the red in there, okay? So when you see people doing this or this, um, no, you're not, it's not a peace symbol. It's a Roman Catholic symbol. It's the identifying of the two swords of the papacy. The spiritual and temporal. Now, a lot of you youngins are stupid. And you do that ignorantly. You don't know. Okay, you don't. Okay? Somebody is telling you right now what that's about. Okay? You see them people doing this, this, and... That we, we saw that Daryl Hall putts doing the exact same thing and you saw the Roman Catholic Jesus doing it. That means spiritual and temporal. Meaning that the Pope has the power to cast you into heaven or to hell and he has the power to rule you on earth. That's what that means. Okay? Okay? And, and here, let, 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 let's, let's, while we're at this, okay, while we're at this, Okay, Mary, Queen of Heaven. Boom. Okay. Oh, and there you are. There you are. The Roman Catholic Mary. <laughs> look, 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 look at this stupid thing. Look at this. There you got the Satanic Trinity, which will be on the earth during the time of Jacob's trouble. <laughs> there you see the, the bird in the middle pooping. <laughs> this is stupid. Stupid. The Lord rebuke you, you wicked devils. You Jesuit devils. Okay? <laughs> Look at this nonsense, man. This is stupid. This is stupid. Mary, the Queen of Heaven. This is not the scriptural Mary. This is the Mary that is talked about, okay, in Jeremiah chapter 44. All right? And you know what? You've, the point has been made to you. The point has been made to you. Okay? There. Your point, the point has been made. Okay? There you go. That thing about Mary, Jeremiah 44. Jeremiah 44. Okay? You, you, you youngins, you people who do this and this, and, uh, you are un... You guys don't know. Okay? A lot of you don't know. You think it's some... No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay? Again... This or this or this or this, whatever. Okay, you're doing that. That is a papal. Uh, that is a papal symbol. That is a papal sign. Okay, you are when you are doing that. You unknowingly. A lot of you don't know this. You're giving credence onto Rome, which is everyone's enemy, especially the Catholics themselves. But in Jeremiah chapter forty-four. Okay. Jeremiah chapter 44. Uh, let's see. Let's go 15 on the 19, then we'll be done. Okay? Then all the men which knew that their wives had burned incense unto other gods, 
and all the women that stood by, a great multitude, even all the people that dwelt in the land of Egypt, in Pathros, answered Jeremiah, saying, As for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of the Lord, we will not hearken unto thee. Because you, you don't want it. Fine. Go to hell. All right? I don't believe in hell. <laughs> Yay. You will. By then it'll be too late. Don't believe these idiots like this guy named Andy, okay, who tells you you go to hell and you can burn for a while and get out of it. No. No, you're going to burn forever. Okay? But we will certainly do whatsoever thing goeth forth out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the Queen of Heaven. That's the Roman Catholic Mary, which we just showed, which you just saw, okay? And to pour out drink offerings unto her as we have done. We and our fathers, our kings and our princes, in the city of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. For then had we plenty of victuals, and we were well and saw no evil. <laughs> Excuse me, but since we left off to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her, we have wanted all things and have done and have been consumed by the sword and famine. And when we burned incense to the Queen of Heaven and poured out drink offerings unto her, listen carefully, did we make her cakes to worship her and pour out our drink offerings unto her without our men? Catholic Mass. The wine. The Jesuit priest. Abracadabra. Hocus pocus. The wine becomes the blood of Jesus. <laughs> and the the perfectly round bale cookie. Sun shaped. S-U-N. And you see, and they go like this. Okay? <laughs> that's that's Baalite. Sun worship. Rah! Okay? People, Kid, kids, you youngins out there, listen to me, <laughs> okay? You, you, when you, 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 you're cute, right? You're doing all this dumb, stupid stuff. Uh, that, you, you're giving credence to Rome. You don't know it. You see this, you're going to know it, okay? But you, you, you do this, you know, you sodomites out there, you do this, you do this, you do this. Okay, um, that, that's, you're giving credence to Rome. You're giving credence to Rome. That is a papal symbol. That is a papal sign. You unknowingly, a lot of you, you don't know this stuff. Okay, a lot of you are, when you do that, you are acknowledging without, without you knowing, spiritual and temporal, that the Pope has the power over you. And in reality, Rome is Satan's church. You are of your father the devil, and the deeds of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, because he abode not uh, in the truth. And there's no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of himself. And ye shall be his gods, knowing good and evil. Okay? Uh, watch out for this. You might think it's no big deal. You, you know... You, you know, you're, you're, you're giving, you are giving credence to Rome when you do that. Rome is your enemy. Rome is everyone's enemy. Okay? So, that's all I got to say about that. All right? That, that, another quick thing while I was on the mind. Got a <laughs> Earth Day tomorrow. Uh, save the whales, <laughs> but, uh, you know, kill the children in the womb. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Sa save the earth. Yeah. Yeah. But eat fake meat. Yeah. Yeah. Bye.